my children growing up were all the time asking me, Mom, how many more days to Christmas? Mom, how many more days to Christmas? So it's great to be able to take things that you have in the house or if you can get your... Um, a person that likes to be able to use a saw, I know I have to call on Gene to do things like this for me, but had him cut a log for me. I want to show you a before of this, a tree stump. And I love the texture of the outside of it. And what's so great about these is the fact that most people don't realize with our one-step chalk-based paint, it's also chalkboard material. Now, if you've bought a chalkboard paint in the past, you had to prime the surface, you had to get things ready to be able to actually paint that on the wall. In this instance, you don't have to. With our black one-step paint, it acts as a chalkboard paint too. So the cool thing about it is you can take things like these logs or these were actually some um, birch branches that I had. And if you're like us at the Howard House, we're all about bringing a buffet. Um, and everybody brings their best dish so they can enjoy the bragging rights. And so nobody really knows what anything is. So it's like, what is this? Chicken cacciatore, or is this ham? Or, or what have you put in the casserole? So it's great to be able to go in. And I'm just going to show you this really cute idea. You can use it for a couple of different things. I had Jean cut these for me, um, literally off the branches that I had yesterday. And I'm going to take my china bristle brush or an art brush, depending on how small they are. And you're literally, because it's raw wood, you don't have to, to clean it with anything. Make sure there doesn't, there's no dust or anything on it. And just come back in and put a couple of coats of the One Step on top of this. And it allows you to be able to have like a mini little chalkboard. So the other, the first thing that you want to do after this is dried, just kind of come back with your chalk and prime the surface. Let's take that rag and get that off so that way it looks like this. That way you can write on it and you can say apple pie, chicken casserole, maybe you can write the person's name on it that brought it. The other thing that these are great for um, is to be able to have even as place settings for people. Um, I've also seen people where you can drill a hole through it and literally put a to and a from and put these on a gift that you're going to be giving to someone. So there's a lot of great ideas. The other thing is too, maybe you have the back door in your house that you want to be able to have maybe as an advent calendar or you want to be able to have a grateful wall. You can literally paint the black one step and get some chalk and write notes on it. Maybe somebody's got a soccer game or you want to use it for all different things throughout the year to be able to make notes on. Mom, we're out of milk. Get milk. It allows the kids to be able to get involved too and make notes and things in your kitchen. Please stay in touch with us on social media and know that it's your turn now to take this knowledge and go enjoy the bragging rights.